I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to estimate angle in radians and degrees right so we have two circles here let's work with them one by one so let us divide this circle into few equal parts right imagine that these lines are going through uh, these are the diagonals and they intersect at the center of the circle correct so with these lines I've already divided my circle into four parts now let me divide it into more parts like that and think as if they are all equal parts right so let's consider starting from here so let us say if I move from this side to to this much then how much is this angle right how will you find this out so figure it out similarly what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the other circle into some equal parts right so let me divide this also some equal parts and this time I will do these parts so you have to find and imagine all the triangles all the divisions which I'm making are equally spaced I know my drawing is not that perfect but imagine as if they are all equally spaced right so in this particular case I would like to tell you or ask you what should be the measure of this angle okay so you have to write the measurement in both radians and in degrees right so let's find out what is the measurement of this angle in radians and in degrees I hope you got the answer by now radians and in degrees okay let's begin with this let's start with radians now half of the circle is 180 degrees or pi radians correct or you can say 180 degrees half of the circle and this half of the circle has been divided into one two three four parts right so each is pi by four correct since this is pi and pi has been divided into four equal parts each is pi by 4 so we have 1 pi by 4 2 pi by 4 3 pi by 4 so in radians it is so simple it is 3 pi by 4 perfect as far as degrees are concerned we have divided 180 degrees so we have divided 180 degrees into four parts right four parts that means each is 45 degrees perfect so 1 times 45 2 times 45 is 90 90 plus 45 is 135 so we know this is 135 degrees right so that is how you should be estimating your angles now let's look into the second circle here and let's see the rotation measure of angles now since we are going clockwise our angles should be negative so to be on safe side let me put negative first since we are going clockwise remember this clockwise means negative angle counterclockwise is positive correct okay now here again we have this pi right so this pi has been divided into how many parts Let's count like this first one two three four five six parts so the pi has been divided into six parts each is pi by six do you see that each is pi by six now if we are going clockwise in this way how many pi by six do we have one pi by six two pi by six three pi by six four pi by six five pi by six six pi by six and seven pi by six so the answer is 7 pi by 6 that is our answer 7 pi by 6 correct 6 pi by 6 is pi I hope you understand and appreciate how simple and easy it is to figure out let's do it in degrees now in degrees what we did was 180 degree was divided into six equal parts right so each part is how much 30 degrees right now how many 30 degrees do we have 1 times 30 2 times 30 3 times 30 
4 times 30, 5 times 30, 6 times 30, 7 times 30. So it is 7 times 30 degrees, which is minus 210 degrees, right? So that is how you can actually find the angle both in degrees and radians when we are looking into rotation measure. And in this part, chapter 6.1, this is the thing which we are going to do most of the time. I'd like you to understand and appreciate this concept. Thank you and all the best.